So our final race from Newbury. It's a novice event over two mile five. It's a grade one hurdle. So our runners are as follows. Bomb Theory for Leon Van Rensburg. Diamond Star for Pontypool Racing. Looking to follow up from last time. Emotional for Joshua Sutherland. Vinnie Gerrard's Huntsville Picnic. Matt Cooper's Pizza Hut. Punto Sound for Darren Thompson. David Robertson's Substitute. Theoretically speaking for Joshua Sutherland. Darren Thompson's Vidmar Paul. Leon Van Rensburg's Mini Fortune Thyme. Time, should I say. David Hooley's Movie Lights. Pedrick Hogan's Petroglyph Raven. Star has got him away over this two miles and five furlongs for the Chalo Novices. A great one hurdle. And we start on the final bend. And we'll line up towards the judge. We'll run this three or four furlongs. And then we'll go out for a full circuit. But our leader is this big, bold white horse, Pizza Hut. And emotional as they get to the first of the 11 flights. As we expected, they will skip over that comfortably. The one at the rear taking a keen hold is Punto Sound. But it's Pizza Hut that leads us from Josh Sutherland's emotional. And then theoretically speaking, moving out wide is a substitute for David Robertson. And they skip over the second. So Pizza Hut still leads us by a couple of lengths. From theoretically speaking, an emotional and substitute. Oh, and our leader went straight through the top of that one. Bit of a mistake. Still on his feet and still leads, but just by a length now. And he dropped down to the fourth. And we'll skip over that. A couple of slower jumps at the rear, but nothing to write home about yet. But it's Pizza Hut from Substitute is running the centre of the course. And so we're going to go past the winning post. Go out for a complete circuit. And this Chalot novice is grade one hurdle. And it's Pizza Hut that leads us from Substitute. Theoretically speaking, I should probably put my tongue in from Huntsville Picnic and Diamond Star the Grey up against the fences of the first of the Leon Van Rensburg horses, Bomb Theory. They're just followed through by Vidmar Paul, Petroglyph Raven, Mini Fortune Thyme, and Punto Sound, who's just been at the back throughout so far. But there's still this Pizza Hut, substitute tacked over towards the rail. It's just a couple of lengths down. Theoretically speaking, movie lights in emotional. Moving and improving on the outside is Diamond Star the Grey. They're followed through by the green silks of Vinnie Gerrard's Huntsville Picnic as they go over the fifth. We'll clear that as well. But it's still this piece out the leads. About four or five from running sort of mid course is Diamond Star. Just when he's inside is theoretically speaking. We've got movie lights and up against the rail is substitute. Oh, let's just shuffle back a little bit now. It's emotional. Towards the rear it's the two Darren Thompson horses, Punto Sound and Vidma Paul. As they go over the six. But Pizza Hut still leading us. I used to quite like Pizza Hut. They used to have one of those fantastic uh, sort of self-serve salad things back in the day, probably in the 80s for a lot of your times as they skip over the seventh but it's Pizza Hut that leads us from movie lights that's moved into second mini fortune times come out from nowhere and takes takes third from substitute on the row the grey on the white outside diamond stars doing well one that's also improved well is petroglyph raven as they're all bunching up now on this leader and pizza hut has to give way to movie lights so it's david who's movie lights that takes it up we're inside the final mile from pizza hut in second diamond star on the white outside substitutes coming back into it the ones moving well now a punto sound for darren thompson and petroglyph raven on the outside but at movie lights going to lead them down to the next. From Diamond Star and Pizza Hut still there, emotional and substitute. The one that's got caught for toe and has fallen off the back of the pack is Huntsville Picnic. Has he gone off for a bit of a picnic? He's half a sandwich short of a picnic. But it's Movie Lights that leads us from Pizza Hut. Still holding on to second there, this Matt Cooper horse doing well, but they're relying on a big light wall of horses as we come down to the eighth, which is three from home. So it's Movie Lights from Pizza Hut still plugging away there and hanging on. Here comes Mini, Fo Mini Fortune Thyme, or Time, but bursting out of the pack. Here comes 
bomb theory, taking it back up again in Pizza Hut, but it's bomb theory as they go over the ninth, so two from home, and it's Pizza Hut, we lost one there, substitute's gone, bomb theory, Pizza Hut, and movie lights, it's these three, everyone else is under a little bit of pressure now, much better jump there by bomb theory, and it's taken it up, could this be a quick double for Leon Van Rensburg, bomb theory, from movie lights up on the inside, Pizza Hut, Punta Sound, Petroglyph, Raven, and Vidmar Paul, trying to close down the gap, so he's over the last, we've got a furlong left to run, and it's bomb theory, from movie lights up on the inside, Petroglyph, Raven, Widmar, Paul, Punto Sound, Mini Fortune Time and Pizza Hut. But they're not going to catch this bomb theory. Bomb theory is going to take the Chatham Morris's great one hurdle. Well done to Leon Van Rensburg. Movie lights for second. A bit, a bit of a wall of forces looking to came third. We'll wait for the big card. But a quick five double here at Newbury. Takes two of the first three races of the day. Leon Van Rensburg with bomb theory. 66 to 1. Beats the... Short price favourite of Moving Lights for David Hooley. Poly Petroglyph Raven for Patrick Hogan got up for third. Vidmar Paul for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Mini Fortune Thyme was fifth. I'll hand you over to whoever's going to do the few Cheltenham races. And I'll see you over at Sandown.